Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple box, there is some mystery math, and your challenge is to figure out what that math is. Because it's Friday, it's going to be particularly challenging. If you want to try this out, go to the link in the description. When you've got an idea, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, I'm going to start with a zero. Okay, zero gives us negative one. How about a one? Also a negative one. How about a two? Oh, so two is not a number. That's interesting. Um, hmm. So it's undefined for two. So could it possibly be a, um, a, a rational function? And and with if you did that, you'd put a minus two down here, and you put in a two, and that would be a zero. So maybe something to do with that? Um, although usually we get an infinity error rather than a not a number. Not a number is more something we more likely get with square root function. So maybe, actually, this is very strange so far. Uh, let's try a three. Okay, three. Now we're, so, so far we've only gotten two values, negative one and one. Let's try a four. I'm going to try a number further out. How about a 9? Still at 1. How about a negative 9? That's still at negative 1. This is an odd-looking graph. Uh, maybe this is um, some weird trig function, and I'm not seeing the curves in between the whole numbers somehow. So let's check uh, in between. Let's put it at 1 half. That's still negative 1. How about a 3.5? How about a, how about a 3.1? Just to double check we're not missing something in between. Hmm. All right, let's investigate close to that point where the function's not defined. So I'm going to put in a 1.9. That's still a negative 1, so a 2.1. Still a positive. Oh. All right. Well, have you got any ideas about this one? I think we're maybe on to something here. But to me, this looks like a, a little bit like uh, that signum function that we saw once a while ago. And with the signum function, that's Latin for sign, like positive or negative sign. What you're trying to get out from the function is just what whether the, the thing is positive or negative. So we're only getting positive 1 and negative 1. So this is a form of that signum function, I think. That signum function was absolute value of x over, absolute, uh, over x or x over the absolute value of x. Either one is going to give you that. And it was undefined at 0. I think what we've got here is the signum func function that's just been moved over. So I, I think this part is right, and if we if we put um, the absolute value of x minus two on top, would that do it? Because every time you divide it, you're going to get one or negative one if this value x value is, or if the bottom of the equation is negative. Let's make sure this actually works. Let's put in a one here, okay? X minus two absolute value, uh, and x I meant put in a 1, so 1 minus, and just on the bottom, 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Take the absolute value of that, you get a 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So if I put in 1, I should get a negative 1. And ah, that's what I got. If you put in a 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Take the absolute value of that, you get 2. And then on the bottom, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. You're still going to get that negative 1. So that looks right. Let's, let's try one more in case you're not convinced. If I put in a 9 here. So absolute value of 9 minus 2 over 9 minus 2. Absolute, well, 9 minus 2 is 7. Absolute value of 7 is 7. The bottom, 9 minus 2 is 7. You're just going to get 1. We put in a 9. We got a 1. So I think we've got it. Just a little, little combination of taking that signum function and then just moving it to the right, too. So let's take a look and, and see if we're correct. And there it is, the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. If you had that reversed, the x minus 2 on top and the absolute value on the bottom, that works too. 
and and let's take a graph of that it's a very very basic looking graph just two lines with this undefined value this point of discontinuity right there at x equals two well how did that go for you i think that was a pretty strange one let me know thanks everybody